Glenn and Lou, they are on the move. We are on 3rd Street where you can see that the uh, striking Writers Guild of America members are here uh, walking from Pan Pacific Park to a rally at the La Brea Tar Pits. They are taking a break from the picket lines at Hollywood Studios where they have been daily in order to make this statement all together on the streets of Los Angeles. Uh, there are an estimated hundreds of people out here, according to Rich Prickett, who is overhead on Sky 5, as we now top 50 days of this rider's strike. That's halfway to the 100-day strike of 2007 and 2008. Uh, we can go ahead and go up to uh, Sky 5 is overhead right now to give you a sense of the crowd size down here. Uh, the WGA does estimate that the strike is becoming very costly. They say they believe that the California economy has lost one and a half billion dollars in economic output over the time of this strike. Negotiating committee members accusing the alliance of motion picture and television producers of looking to dismantle the writers room as we know it, end quote. And they are striking for higher pay and streaming residuals, limits on AI, mandatory staffing levels in writers rooms. And here's where they say things stand. Listen to this. We're waiting for the studios and companies to come back to the table. Uh, they've told us that they can't. Uh, we've been ready uh, the entire time. Going back to when our uh, negotiators were meeting with them, uh, they never once engaged with any of our proposals. That tells me that they didn't really want to bargain with us. To me, this is a great chance to see everybody that's been walking the lines all together in one place remind us what we are doing. Okay, back out here live, we are now on Fairfax. The riders are planning to walk down Fairfax to the tar pits. Uh, and Kim Winslow is among them. So, Kim, just tell me how things are going for you now, 50 days, more than that, into this rider's strike. You know, a strike is never easy. It's, it, we, we, we knew that it was going to be tough, but the resolve is very united. We're very committed. We're very proud to be here. We're very proud to be riders. And I'm proud to bring my family here. So they can see what mommy does and what we're doing and what this is all about. So what are you hopeful in terms of any progress? When do you think that would come? Or have you had any inklings on that? Um, we don't have any inklings. I, I know that some people are waiting to see what happens with the SAG after a contract negotiations. Because those are going on right now. They're going on right now. They're due at the end of the month. But at the end of the day, um, leadership has said and we fully support that this is our own fight. We have our own particular issues. And we just hope that the ANPTP comes back to the table as soon as possible because they are the ones that left. How are you and other riders that you know getting by? I mean, 50 days is a long time without work. Yep. Um, reserve, <laughs> hustling, <laughs> savings, you name it. We're doing it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for talking to us. Thank we appreciate you. it. Thank and you. I want to go ahead and put up a statement that we were referred to by the uh, the studios in all of this, that's who's on the other side of these negotiations, the AMPTP saying that member companies remain united in their desire to reach a deal that's mutually beneficial to riders and the health and longevity of the industry and to avoid hardship to the thousands of employees who depend upon the industry for their livelihoods. Now, earlier on in this, we did hear from the studios that they said they offered a proposal to the riders with increases in compensation that they called generous and also improvements in streaming residuals, uh, but indicated that there were some areas where they were very far apart. Now, as far as what's next, uh, the uh, motion picture studios are in negotiations with uh, sag after right now, the Screen Actors Guild, and their contract expires June 30th, so there's some indication that any talks would need to come after that. Today, for the riders, it's all about this scene you see here, and we will catch up with them once again at the rally that they're holding at a, uh, in a short time at the Librea Tar Pits. We'll send it back to you in the studio.